Something very odd happened in a peculiar corner of the markets in the opening days of this month. Very long dated Swiss bond yields came out of the freezer. For almost a whole week, the yields on the country's 2058 bonds actually poked above 0%. Investors got a return for buying them. Amazing stuff. This is, of course, how bond markets are supposed to work. But we live in extraordinary times, and fully $13 trillion or so of bonds around the world yield less than nothing, which means investors effectively pay to own them. Now, don't panic, those Swiss yields swiftly return back to below zero, back to the new normal. But this isn't the only pocket of the bond markets showing some cracks. UK yields have picked up from the record lows they've seen recently as the drip drip of decent UK economic news forces a brighter rethink on what the country might look like after the EU referendum. Even Japanese 10-year yields are inching back up towards zero. So, are these canaries in the coal mine? Since 2008, investors have been on high alert for the next big crisis and a serious shake-up of the bond market is a possibility that keeps many awake at night, particularly as memories of the mini blow-up in German Bunds last year are still fresh in the mind. What if inflation recovers? More importantly, what if inflation expectations recover? What if, whisper it, fiscal stimulus kicks in and generates some proper global growth? But these are all seriously big ifs and are nice problems to have. For now, the attitude is, show me the money, and more importantly, show me a Fed that's smoothly raising interest rates. Flickers of the good old days with bonds that really yielded something will come and go, but most investors are resigned to super low yields for weeks and months to come.